What's up guys, Cycling Virgin. Finally bringing you a crit breakdown. Um, you know, I, not much to break down. Let's just start with that. It's a Cat 5 crit. Um, this was my second race of the season. Uh, the first race, I was kind of so scrambled all directions that I didn't even remember to turn on the GoPro. Uh, I turned my Garmin on late. Um, basically, you know, huge learning curve the first race. Um, so the first thing I suggest for you guys that are thinking about starting to race, you know, you're, you guys' summer's coming, um, spring's coming. First thing I'm gonna suggest is plan on that first race, just learning how to get on and off the track correctly and, and plan your morning. I know, I know you guys are saying, I'm pretty good at uh, planning my day, I'm an adult, blah, blah. It's a little different and, um, you know, I think I'm pretty good at time management and there's just so many little things to remember. You know, especially when trying to run a GoPro and think about the the vlog and stuff. So, first race, sorry guys, I'm not bringing you that footage. Um, it's just, uh, it wasn't enough to put it together. So, this is second race of the season. And this is a, this is a pure Cat 5. And um, this was the <clears throat> largest group uh, of the day. Most of the four or five races are. And I'm only bringing you about 15 minutes of it because well, it's boring. All I do is sit in. There is no real strategy to this. It's just uh, be safe, don't overlap wheels, and try to stay upright. Um, that's that's it, gentlemen. I mean, really, the the best way I can describe a Cat Five race is uh, is like six year olds playing soccer. And and let me also say that for all the locals listening, I really enjoyed racing with you guys. You guys are great. We stayed clean all all season, or we have so far. Knock on wood. Um. And it's been great, good group of guys to race with, strong guys. But strategy-wise, you know, we're all new. Let's just face it, face facts. So there's not really like a, there's not really like a, you know, there, there's not proper attacks, proper counterattacks. You know, no one really wears down the group with that kind of stuff. You know, someone will attack, everybody will chase it, and then everybody will come to a big slow once they catch it and everyone will catch their breath and then it'll happen again. You know, and then you're saying, well, why don't you do something? Because I know I can sprint and kind of my job to sit in. So that's what I was doing. And I know that everything's gonna come back because everybody's gonna chase everything. Okay, that being said, we're sitting in here. You're watching me kind of just sit in for the next 10 minutes. I'm gonna talk about, you know, what my thoughts were here. And really, um, like I said, my biggest thought is just, let's be safe. Let's stay upright through the corners. Let's let's apex these corners. You know, as you see here, the Cat 5 race on this kind of track, this is Avondale. Um, this is a great course. It's in a business complex. It is very, very open. Uh, great corners, good asphalt, um, good surface. Not a lot of drainage um, crossings or anything like that. But what it does do in a Cat 5 race is it allows the group to swell. So as we slow down, you know, to that 20 mile an hour mark, which the, the group will do, um, you get swells of like six people, it'll be like six wide, which like right, right now you're looking at six wide and Tony's going up, you know, the right. Um, that's crazy, you know, like it shouldn't be six wide, like really ever, I mean, Unless it's a pro peloton, they're leading out their sprinters, and there's just 16. Well, look at that. It's like these crossing wheels because it swelled for a second, and then it and it hits hard. And look at all these guys. No one's using a draft at all. It's just Cat Five racing. I mean, I think it's going to change. I, I, I already a Cat Three. Um, yeah, that's right. I've raced 10 races this season. See now, look at it. it we all hit it, and then it swells back up, and when it slows down here. Anyway, as I was saying, guys, I'm actually I'm actually a cat three already. So I've raced ten races this season, and I've made it from a five to a three. Uh, I did it by winning uh, five. No, I won four, four five combined races as I was racing as a five. So I got my nine races, applied for an upgrade at nine races, which they gave me because I had won. I'd won a total of five races, excuse me, and then went out, raced one Cat 4 race, 
or four or five racing as a cap four. Won that, that gave me four wins in four or five. I needed 20 points, each of those gave me five points. Here I am, I'm a cat three. Only took me a month. I started January, it's mid-February. Took me a month and a half. Um, I don't think I'll be able to get a two this season because there's not, I don't, there's probably enough races, and I don't wanna say that, but I don't think I'm gonna go to enough races to actually do that, and really, I don't think that I will be just winning um, cat three races. But you never know, I don't know. I feel pretty good uh, in, in, in these crits. I feel like I've been effective. This race here um, was all about sitting in though. You know, there's gonna be some other videos I'm gonna put up of some other courses where, um, you know, Tony, I, and Bud, we're all kind of learning too, my teammates here in the purple. Um, you see the house kid over there, that's Tony uh, on the left. We're all learning, but what we figure out is that we're all so fit that we can just really tear the group down. Um, there's gonna be a video where Tony just gets into a solo breakaway and then we do a little blocking and um, you know, by blocking I mean getting to the front in a corner and kind of just rolling through it slow. Um, and he gets away and then I win the bunch sprint. It's pretty cool. So this, there's none of that. There's no strategy. This is just, this course is so big and open that we're all just hanging out and sitting in. So what I've learned quickly, um, and I'll talk more about this per course when I put these up. This course, the, the corners are so wide open and sweeping that it really didn't affect you if you went into the corner a little slow because you're going fast. Even slow on this course is fast, if that makes sense. Some courses have sharper corners and then like, you know, how well you can take the corner really affects you over the course of that 40 minute race or 30 minute race. Um, this one here, not so much. You know, you'll see the pedaling and then the stop pedaling. That's something that I think if you can perfect, um, that's, I think that's what the guys up higher are doing. Uh, and I got pretty good at that. You know, I'm, like I said, I'm 10 races in now and my power is definitely less fluctuating than even this race by just knowing that I can go into a corner um, you know, not touch the brakes. And what I actually do, and, the, and this is, apply this to you guys, if you guys go do the cap five or four, what I'll actually do is, the guy in front of me, I will give him a little bit of a gap going into the corner, like coming up to the corner. So I'll let off a little earlier, let off the pedals earlier, let him pedal a little away from you. And then through the corner, chances are he's gonna hit the brakes or he's going to be a little, you know, nervous. And then let yourself catch back up, even even let yourself kind of go around him a little bit and then he's gonna start pedaling earlier and the whole time you haven't pedaled yet because you didn't touch your brakes and you didn't you haven't pedaled as much into the corner and then let let yourself kind of like with your momentum kind of come up you can kind of you know cross wheels you can kind of come up alongside him depending on who's around you uh, I, I liked coming up alongside guys and then they'll start pedaling earlier again and you're still haven't pedaled and then they'll pedal 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 hard coming out of the corner and then you just fall right back in line behind him and you kind of get carried by the draft again. <clears throat> so effectively, you know, you pedaled none, and he's pedaled in the corner, hit the brakes, pedaled out of the corner. You know, like, if you could do that for 40 minutes, the difference between you and that guy, um, as far as your legs for the sprint, it's unreal. And that's that's a big thing that I um, I need to work on more. And uh, I thought I did, I thought I did better than most in these Cat 5s, and that was because of all those group rides you guys have seen, you know, those Tuesday morning gainies, um, Thursday morning gainies, like you kind of just, if you do those group rides in your local area, oh man, excuse me. I'm up early this morning trying to get you guys a video. If you do those local group rides in your area, um, you'll kind of just buy, um, <clears throat> by, what am I trying to say? By kind of necessity, out of necessity, you'll just learn how to keep that corner speed. Otherwise, on those group rides, you get dropped, you know? So you just kind of figure it out, like, well, I need to save my legs here. You know, when you're in that position where you're like, dude, my legs are smoked, what do I do? You just start learning what, what you can do to conserve your legs and, uh, you know, in the corners, and that's one area you can do it. Uh, and also coming out of the corners when there is an acceleration, just knowing like how much power to put down. You know, you'll see in a lot of these crits, in a lot of the crits you guys are gonna do, you know, when you come out of a corner, 
the group will accelerate hard because there's like this yo-yo effect. I'm sure you guys have felt that before in a group ride. But, and you're gonna need to get back on the gas, but gauge it and know that like, if you, you know, don't, don't hit a thousand watts when it only takes 500 watts to get you back up to that wheel. Even though it feel like that, it feels like that wheel's going away, but just remember it's gonna slow again, you know? Once those guys catch back up, the, the accordion's gonna collapse and you're gonna almost have to hit the brakes. If you come out of a corner on the gas, right, and you're on the gas so hard that you have to hit the brakes uh, in like, you know, 50 feet because the group swelled back up, then you incorrectly accelerated out of that corner. You should, you should use just enough power to keep a draft, right, but not um, not overpower, it's just, it's, it's conservation, you know? Think about it like pouring water out of a glass. You have, you have so much water in a, in a glass or a pitcher. That's your power for a race. And every time you use a little bit of that power, you're just pouring more water out of the glass. Just pouring out, pouring out. And, I'm, you know, I could do a video on how sugar and, you know, on how nutrition affects that glass of water, but that's not this video. Just know that there is a glass of water or a pitcher of water and you have a limited supply of this stuff. Um, so every time you hit that hard acceleration, you're pouring it out. And you know, you notice me here, <clears throat> I'm saving all my droplets the best I can. That's what the best crit racers will do. I mean, I just know it. Um, I feel it, you know. And guys like the Vegan Cyclist, uh, I'm sure you guys subscribe to him. He does some awesome race casts and he is a cat one or two or a pro, I don't even know. He's really strong dude. I mean, he'll tell you the same thing. It's just about conservation, same with Maven. Um, in these fives races, it's hard because it's just, it's just really erratic, like up, down, up, down, up, down. But as you see here, I'm conserving best I can. Right here, I feel like I need to get to the front. Um, I didn't like where I was coming into <clears throat> the last couple laps here. So I use a little bit of power. First time like really on the, with my face in the wind. Um, so what I go over, I went over conserving power, staying upright, um, oh man, excuse me guys. Here's the last lap here. And yeah, when the last lap comes, then you gotta use your power to stay in position. That's a big thing too. And it, it what I learned quickly is it's all about the power to get in the position you want. And then once you're in the position you want, you know, after that, you just use everything you have left, which, you know, it's, it's not really a sprint. It's just like, I'm gonna scrape the bottom of my barrel or I'm gonna literally lick the, the last few droplets out of the glass because I'm pouring out all my water to get right where I wanna be because that's more important. That's one thing I want you to stress to you guys. Position on the last lap is more important than how much you have for the sprint. Because if you're in the wrong position, it doesn't matter if you can do 1600 watts, you will not win the sprint. You know, like, I, I don't care how strong you are. Like, right here, boom, I attack these guys early. They're not ready for it. I'm probably not the strongest dude. Look, I only hit it. I didn't even hit a thousand watts. But I put myself in the right position. I went early, and I know I could hold it to the line. Done. Case closed. So, save all your water. Back to my analogy. Save all the water in your pitcher for that last lap. Get the position you want. You know, um, I just cut here to the cool down that I do. Get the position you want and then use whatever you have left, I mean everything you have left and more, for the sprint. <clears throat> and that's all you can do. I mean that's the best way to finish well in a cat race, a cat four or five race. I'm sure in the three fours, <clears throat> excuse me guys, in the three fours, two threes, Nate Lowry, that uh, it's gonna be a little different. You know, you're gonna have to use that water through the race. You're gonna have to use your, your tank through the race a little more. Um, but it's still the same idea. So I'm just doing a little cool down here. Um, yeah, man, thanks for watching guys. Uh, you know, I'm really sorry I don't bring out enough videos. I want them to have some some good, um, I just want them to be something too. I don't want to just slap up videos just for the sake of putting up videos. So I appreciate you guys uh, being patient and uh, I'm gonna keep consistently putting up videos, but they're gonna be consistently slow from the sound of things. Uh, you know, if I quit my day job, um, I'll let you guys know. And then you'll get a video every day. But uh, we're a little ways from that. 
Um, yeah, just hit a thousand subscribers. Thank you guys so much for that. That's a cool mark that I really didn't ever think I was gonna hit. One thousand subscribes. You know, let's make it. Uh, let's make it five thousand. Let's make it ten thousand. And then I'll quit my day job and uh, I'll just bring you guys a bunch of cool content. And we'll have fun making these videos. Um, you know. Uh, so thanks for that. What else do I got to tell you? More videos to come. So, like I said, this was the second crit of the season, and I have done ten. I have a crazy amount of content that I'm going to bring you guys. So be sure to subscribe. We'll talk more about strategy. I'll put up longer videos if you want. Actually, comment below. Tell me, do you guys want longer breakdowns of these races from me? I know that, like uh, like I said, the vegan cyclist is doing that. I don't want to double down on his stuff. Let me know below what you guys want. I'll bring you more vlogs as well. Um, I'm talking in a hurry because we're almost done here. I'm wrapping up. I'm coming to the car. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, hit like, comment below. Tell me if you like this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll uh, we'll catch you next time.